All right, everyone. Hello and good evening. Uh, Saturday night. I just thought I'd go over the end of week update. End of week update. So I think my last video was on Thursday. First of all, I can't help myself. Let's talk some potential trade setups here. All right. So it was interesting. I'm out of pound cat. I know. I know. It's probably going to gap down potentially, but... Um, I got out just to finish the week and just to, you know, realize some profits. So, um, now a viewer, Jonty mentioned about taking partial profits and I completely agree. I think going forward, I'll be doing that, especially in a trending system that I apply to the markets. It's just appropriate because then psychologically, you know, you're a little more detached and you've sort of, you know, my point of view is that, you know, I believe that would benefit me because if you're in a trade for a while and then you're sort of more compelled to, to, to want to sort of gain something from it because you invested a lot of time into it and whatnot. So I think taking the partial profits would take some stress off and let and really allow me to let the trade play out properly. All right. Okay. So the Aussie dollar ended the week pretty bearish. Um, I'll bring the four hour up and I'll really see. Okay. So that's how it closed. Close below the 55 simple moving average as well. So I'll see how the Aussie dollar does Monday. I wouldn't mind seeing a bit more of a bounce on Monday. Definitely a potential short in the Aussie dollar. Now the pound. Now the pound is interesting. It's my thesis that this could, could go short. Um, we'll see though again. I don't, you know, take the trade on the Monday. I'm going to see, unless it's, into the New York session and it's, you know, trending nicely. M majority of the time I will not do that though. I'll really let it play out. The daily candle close. I'll see how the four hour stuff plays out on Monday. And then into the London session Tuesday, I'll really um, start, you know, in my mind, putting together an entry if it's valid and, you know, psychologically preparing myself for that trade. Um, I just want to see how gold finished. Uh, NFP was pretty positive and more than expected. So it eased a little bit, uh, the gold rally. So I'm going to keep it a pound and the Aussie. So bullish US dollar, I agree with as well. Um, another viewer commented on that. I think it was Raquel. Apologies if I didn't say the name correctly. I do apologize. All right, what's this? That is something else. That is some... Video material that I'll be studying tonight. The thread Saturday night. It's some prop firm stuff, guys. City Investment Solutions prop firm that I'm with. All right, let's just have a look at how the prop firm trial is going. This is with Lupus Proprietary Trading. So I have another um, prop firm that I'm with under a trial. So it's a three month trial. Um, the start of this month represents the start of the trial. I've, I've tried a couple times actually. So. Um, I was pretty close, but just not quite. We had a good conversation and it was some positive feedback, but this is how it's going right here. So as you can see, the pound care was pretty positive. And you can see one point it was over 5% unrealized. And if I, you know, I don't really want to talk about if I still held the trade, but I mean, it fell another 60 plus pips. So, you know, it... It's challenging as a trend trader. You've, you've really got to be very resilient psychologically because you're going to get a lot of coulda, woulda, shouldas and you, you just can't really think like that. So that's how this is looking. That's the prop firm trial account. And I really, you know, started getting discipline and I started getting picky from, from March. And it was just, there wasn't really anything moving much. Um, May, just positive. But as you can see, it was four positive months. I was very happy with the consistency. There was not a lot on offer from the markets. Um, June, that could have been, you know, a pretty nice month with gold, but I actually moved the stop too quickly and I got hit up for a break-even trade. So, look, you're probably thinking if you're watching this and you knew the channel, you're like, Scott, it's Saturday night, what are you doing? Look... If you really want to be a trader, it shouldn't be a hassle. Like it should just be like, you just should be like, yeah, this is, that's good, Scott. Like just, this is what I want to do. So if you've been following the channel for a while, I really appreciate it. You, you would know that this account's been um, in the negative for a while. 
and went just in positive territory now. So that again, as you can see, now February represented uh, a lot of overtrading and it was just poor trading in general, to be honest with the setups that were there. And it was just inappropriate. So I really, you know, I, I dug deep and I executed my plan. And as you can see, it's been pretty flat. And then uh, the pound cat was nice. So that's, you know, that was an early winner for the start of the month. So I do this to be accountable as well. I'm not going to be reckless and I'm just going to stick to my rules, guys. Um, again, thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, please feel free. If you've got any questions, ask away. I always will get back to you straight away pretty much. Um, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Watch this video coming out tomorrow night as well. Thank you and bye, guys.